But on the Jewish man, what's called a Holocaust, right? They do reparation every year. And then the Japanese man, they put them in camps, like during World War II, they give them reparation. But we went through this. We went through the worst thing that happened with Daniel's not in the We went through the worst thing by the hand of the so-called white man. The same would I give everybody reparation, but they still won't give us reparation. Right? Is this the name of a is it a movement or something? You can, you can call it a movement, but this is the great awakening, right? Uh hold that with some seven and five. I'm about to show you what this is about. Okay. So I'm about to show you what you're seeing right now. Because these things were prophesied in the Bible. Right? The Bible speaks about uh, uh we're gonna be asleep. Right, spiritually dead. How are we dead? We're in captivity. We're not a people. You understand? We don't have no no leadership. We don't have no weight, no knowledge in our community. Why we bang on each other, we kill each other, we hate each other. We're the only people that can do these things. And then is what? We're dead. The most time make the middle of all. So now we're in captivity and this is the great awakening. Right? That grand ass power of life. Book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5 and verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. Right. So the Bible says the righteous man shall stand in great boldness. Who are the righteous according to the Bible? The people of God chose to be righteous of the so-called black and Hispanic. Right? Go ahead. Before the face of such as have afflicted him. Why are we going to stand in great boldness before the face of such that have afflicted him? Right? Against such that have afflicted, right? We've been afflicted, right? Yeah, no camera, right? We've been afflicted for 500 years, right? The Bible said the righteous gonna stand in great boldness against such that have afflicted them, right? This is go ahead and make no um, account of his labor. And they made no account of our labor, all right? We we built America, all these buildings you see, right? We build America, what they say. Oh, black people are lazy. Hispanic people are lazy. All right, they got all kind of by words and problems for us. After we don't hear all these things for them, right? So they said they make no count of our labor. Go ahead. Verse two. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. All right. When the nation see it, they're gonna be troubled with terrible fear. What's gonna make the nation fear? Because what? The people they've been oppressing for 500 years are standing up. Right there waking up. They, they they find out that white supremacy. Right, they find out that that there's white supremacy. You understand? They find out the white man is their enemy. Alright? They don't have that Stockholm syndrome anymore, man. Alright? They don't have that slave mentality. Are you familiar with Nat Turner? The story of Nat Turner? So Nat Turner was a slave, a slave pastor. Alright? They he, he taught himself how to read. Right, when he learned how to read, he started reading the Bible. And what did he do after reading the Bible? Right, he started his whole slave reform. You understand? And for that, the white men killed him, and they took his skin and made bags out of his skin, man. All right, so they tormented not Turner because he, he rebelled. Because what? What caused that rebellious? The Bible. All right, when you read about Jesus, not this devil right here, this is Cecil Bosch here. When you read about Jesus in the Bible, he's a black identity extremist. Right. Right. He was about revolution. Right. He was going against the crank. Because what? The wisdom of this world. The wisdom of this world is against God's wisdom. You know what I'm saying? So they didn't like what Jesus was teaching. Right. Jesus was a so-called black man. That's right. You've seen black people, you've seen Jesus. Right. We're the same people, and that's in the Bible. Right? Get revelation one, I'm sure how Jesus Christ looked like. Go ahead. And they shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Right, they're gonna be amazed like when they see us stand up. And the, the best is when they see us get saved. When they see us get delivered out of America. That's what? According to the Bible, America is gonna be destroyed. That's, That's right. Then when America destroyed in the Bible, it prophesied thermonuclear destruction coming on America. Just like God referred to Sodom and Gomorrah. God gonna over to a murder, right? And doing that destruction with that fire, he's gonna deliver his saints. 
the right is the Bible say they're gonna be amazed at the strangers of our salvation, go ahead. So far beyond all that they look for. Right, it's so far beyond what they look for. That's been nobody expected these people to be delivered out of America. The worst people. Like, for what? And repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit uh -huh. shall they within themselves. Right. That was he. This was he whom we had sometime in the region right. and they, the they proverb gonna have of reproach. They're going to have a regret. Right? They're going to be like, this is he. Right? He was looking down upon. All right? Keep on the shine. The lowest of the people in the ghettos, the slum, the gutters. Go ahead. We fools accounted his life madness. Right? Because what? They accounted on life madness. They say we're nothing. All right? They're going to regret that day, man. All right? They're going to know that we are the sons of the living God. Go ahead. And, uh, it's like, um, and his end to be without honor. Uh-huh. Go ahead. How is he numbered among the children of God? Read it again. How is he numbered among the children of God? Right. They're going to be like, how are these people numbered among the children of God? Of what? When you go to church, they tell you, God is white. Jesus is white. All the disciples is white. But in the Bible, it's so called black and Hispanics may you read in the Bible. Right, right. right. They're going to be amazed. They're like, how is he numbered among the children of God? Right? Because what? That's so far beyond what they expected, man. Yeah. Right? And that's what's coming, man. That's what you see. Right? And we in the four corners of the earth, throughout all of America, you're going to see black and Hispanics standing up with great boldness. That's right? right. And you're going to see the nations fear. Because what? When we stand up, they fear. That's right. All right? When we stand up, they know their kingdoms by the fall. That's right. right. Because what? We are the God, man. All right? Get all right. Psalm 82. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Psalm 82 and 6. All right? The Bible tells you so-called black men are the gods, man. That's right. All right? So the nation's going to fear. They're going to fear when they see us stand up, man. All right? They're going to they're gonna be afraid. Right? And they're going to be amazed at it, man. All right? Great. Go ahead. That's the book of Psalms, chapter 82, verse 6. I have said, ye are God. All right, the Bible said, the children of Israel, the people on this side, so-called black and Hispanic, are God, man. All right, we are the gods who we in the box, man. All right, God's chosen people, and we are the children of the living God. Go ahead. And all of you are children of the Most High. All right, and we are the children of the Most High, man. That's right. That's it. Right, and, and that's the great awakening, man. Go to your one and ten. My bad, you got that Baruch? God, three and what? Three and, three and eight. The book of Baruch, three and verse eight. Pick it up. Behold, we are yet this day in, in, um, 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 in our captivity. All right, the Bible said we are yet this day in our captivity, man. All right, we're still in captivity. Can I see 61? All right, we're, these people still possess us, man. All right. We're still in the hand of our oppression. I'm saying, to this day, we're in captivity. We're, in, we're slaves here, man. Micah, Micah 20. Okay. Where thou hast scattered us. All right, the Most High scattered us throughout the four corners of the earth. That's right. All right, and we're scattered in America. All right, and we're serving different gods, man. All right, we're, we're serving Muslim, Islam, and Christianity, all, all these religions. The Most High never gave us no religion. You understand? He gave us laws, statutes, and commandments, and a heritage to live by. You know what I'm saying? If we keep these things, we're going to come into life. But if we forsake God's commandments, we're going to die. And we wonder why we keep getting killed in the streets, man. Right? We wonder why our people got an evil eye toward each other, man. Right? Because what? We have forsake God, man. Right? And since we forsake God, God forsook us, man. Go ahead. Come on. For for a reproach and a curse. All right, for a reproach and a curse, man. We're a curse and we're a reproach to these nations. Go ahead. And to be subject to payment. And we're subject to payments, man. Why right, we got paid all type of payments, man. All type of debt. Why right, you for you to come to New York City, we gotta pay tolls. You understand? And so we're subject to all type of payments. You gotta pay for coffee. And say everything. We gotta pay for water, which is free. We're 
subject of all kind of pain. Huh. Says according to all the um, iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our God. Alright, according to all the iniquities of our fathers. Get Jeremiah 10 and 16. Alright, our forefathers departed from the Lord God. Alright, they departed from God, so therefore we're cursed, man. Alright? And a lot a lot of people be asking that question. They be asking why? Why are we going through all these things, man? Right? Why are we at the battle? Right? Why are we the first fire and the last hire? You understand? The answer been in the Bible, man. Alright? We're gonna give you all the answer. That's Come right. Go, go that. Come on, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 16. It says the portion of Jacob. 16 and 10. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 16 and verse 10. It says, and it shall come to pass uh -huh. when thou shalt show this people all these works. All right, the Bible says, it shall come to, God says, it shall come to pass. When you show all these people all these works, what are the words? The words that were subject to payments, the words that were cursed and were reproached. Right, when we show these people all these words. All right, go ahead. Uh, um, and they shall say unto thee, Wherefore has the Lord pronounced um, all these great evil against us? They're going to be like, why did the most High pronounce all this great evil against us, man? What did we do? You understand? Why are we at the bottom? Right? That's the question that so-called black and Spanish you got to ask, man. Right? Why are we the first fire, the last hire? You understand? The, answer, the Bible about to give you the answer, man. Go ahead. Or what is our um, um, iniquities? All right? Our people say, what they what did we do? Why right? they just woke up in poverty? Why right? they woke up being a curse? You understand? They woke up being and they go to sleep hungry, man. You understand? So was, we were born in captivity, man. Right? We don't know what happened in the past. Right? This book right here is your history book. And it's gonna tell you what happened in the past, man. Alright? And we're gonna read the past, man. The Bible says remember the days of old, man. You understand? If you read the days of old, you're gonna understand what happened in the past. And you're gonna understand what your iniquity is, man. Right? And you're gonna understand why the most high is punishing you, man. That's right. Alright? Hosea 3 and 1. Go ahead. Or what is our sin uh -huh. that we have committed uh, um, against uh, the Lord our God? Right? Then shall thou say unto them. Alright, the God say, this is what you're gonna say to these people. This is the answer. Go ahead. Because your fathers have forsaken me. The, the reason is because your fathers have forsook the most high, man. Alright? Your fathers have forsook the most high. They went after all the gods. Alright? And you wonder why you worshiping white Jesus. Alright? And you wonder why you uh, uh your so-called black man and you worshiping the white God. You understand? Know you wonder why? Because your father forsook the most high. And then you pass that white Jesus down generation after generation, right? Until this day, you're serving that white boy. You understand? The people you're better than, man. You understand? You're worshiping the base of the people, man. You understand? Go ahead. Say the Lord. And have walked after other gods and have served them. All right? And, and our forefathers walked after other gods and they served the other gods, man. All right? They serve Islam, Allah, Buddha. All right, Christian, and all these religions they serve, man. All right, that's why you're cursed, man. Go ahead. And have forsaken me, and have not kept my law. Uh -huh. And ye have done worse than your fathers. All right, and the Bible says ye have done worse than your fathers, man. All right, this generation is worse than the previous generation, man. All right, God is telling you that straight up, man. All right, and y'all keep getting worse, man. The, the next generation is going to be worse. All right, because what? Nobody's guiding them. Nobody's giving them wisdom. You understand? Y'all forsook the wisdom the most I gave. You understand? Y'all want to live the American dream. Right? Y'all want to drink of the wine of Babylon. All right? And the wine of Babylon is going to lead to the death, man. All right? There's nothing good in America. All right? They, nobody said, nobody's giving their kids instruction anymore, man. Nobody's spanking their kids anymore. So therefore, the generation is going to get worse, man. All right, we're going to get worse. The Bible says you have done worse than your forefathers, man. 
shed in America cannot cleanse this land. The only way this land can be cleansed is by the blood of the people that murdered, their blood being shed, and that's how the, the earth be cleansed. Man. That's right. Right? That's how you cleanse the earth, man. All right? Go on that. Go ahead. Because it is polluted, huh? it shall destroy you, right. even with a sword destruction. It is going to destroy us, even with a sword destruction. How is America destroying us, man? Why right? they're teaching us false doctrines, all right? They're teaching us false ideologies, right? They're teaching you, you can abort your own baby. You understand? They're teaching all kind of abominable things. And said, so these things are gonna destroy you, right? They're teaching you against God's commandments, right? So therefore, these things are gonna destroy us, man. Well, how you doing? 